Welcome back, Island and Islanders, to a tier list video. This is the first tier list on this channel, and this one's going to be about YouTubers in, in particular. This one's going to have great, really great YouTubers, and also really, really bad YouTubers that I've seen personally. But let's hop right into it. Okay, the first YouTuber that we got on the board is Chills. Now, I haven't watched Chills in a while, but he is a pretty good YouTuber. But for me personally, I would rank him at, at B just because I haven't watched him in a while and it's been like a good, good about a year and a half since I actually sat down and enjoyed his content. And there isn't a lot of variety on his channel, just it's just mainly creepy videos that he finds on the internet or people sends to him. So that is why he's ranked B. Next on the board is Dead Meat James. Uh, Dead Meat James is one of my favorite YouTubers. I watch him every time there's a kill count or one of the, sometimes I tune into his podcast. Definitely an S tier YouTuber. One of the best on this platform. No doubt about it. He doesn't hate on anyone. He's just there to make content to so you can enjoy. Okay, the next YouTuber on the board is Green. Green is one of my favorite Minecraft YouTubers of all time. But I haven't watched them as much here recently just because of that. I ain't gonna, you know, be biased or anything. I will rank him as a, but still one of the best YouTubers I have watched personally. Now we got Jack Septikai on the board. Definitely one of my favorite variety content creators out there. He is automatically S tier in front of Dead Meat James. Definitely one of the first YouTubers I ever watched on this platform and by far one of the best and remember this is my personal opinion you all can have different opinions that's fine okay the next person we got is Lachlan one of the best Fortnite YouTubers that's probably on this platform um, not the first one I've seen I've watched actually it is the first one I have watched then it'll be Muzelk been the second one but I did not put Muzelk on the list but Lachlan is definitely an A tier YouTuber. Uh, I haven't watched as much here lately, but sometimes I will tune in and watch. I do enjoy his content. Uh, same with Laser Beam, he is also an A tier YouTuber. I would put him in S tier, but his uh, newer content is more geared toward children instead of uh, young adults and teenagers. Now we run into one of the worst YouTubers on this platform. Lipsy Jimmy. I used to watch this content back in the day, but when it was a little bit less clickbaitier. But nowadays his channel is completely pretty much dead. He hasn't uploaded in like months since like Christmas of last year. He did a lot of sketchy, sketchy stuff. Uh, not the worst YouTuber on this list, but definitely down there with him. Now we got Markiplier. I like Markiplier, but I don't watch him daily. Um, he is one of the best YouTubers on this platform. So that's why he gets S tier. And he's a huge, huge influence on this platform. Next, we got the Goat Meat King. He don't matter who you are, he's gonna make fun of you with his animations. Uh, I will put him in front of, not Dead Meat, Markiplier just because I don't watch Markiplier that often. But Meat Cannon, definitely one of the best animators on the platform as of right now. That could change, but I don't think it would. Now we got Mini Lad. Mini Lad's content is decent at, you know, was pretty good, but the allegations for miners is very, very big. That is why I'm putting at C tier because we can't have that on this platform. But his content was pretty decent at best. I didn't enjoy it. I thought he was always an asshole. But he does get C tier. Now more. <laughs> bad. Completely bad. Clickbait. Nothing but clickbait. That's why he gets D tier. Instantly D tier. Clickbait. No. There shouldn't be clickbait on this platform. Especially the way he goes and portrays it. Mr. Beast. One of the first YouTubers I have watched on this platform. One of the best. But his content 
has altered in the past few years. It went from dark humor to more kid-friendly type things. He gets S tier just because he helps multiple upon multiple people, curing some blind people. Maybe he'll do it some deaf people. I don't know. But that's why he gets S tier for me personally. Now we got Mumbo Jumbo, another great Minecraft YouTuber. Uh, I started watching him a little bit before Green. Doesn't matter. Still one of the best Minecraft YouTubers. A tier, automatically. A tier. By far one of the funniest hermit crafters out there. Next, we got Nuke's Top 5. Uh, Nuke's Top 5, pretty good content. I would say it's better than Chills. Uh, me personally, because he engages with his audience a lot more than Chills, I noticed. But I would rank him at a tier but if he had a little bit more variety within his content he would be a tier but for me personally b tier still great content creator but b tier next we got ohm wrecker content decent um him as a person very 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 horrible horrible person uh, guarantee you one of the worst on the platform worse than lipsy jimmy uh, he tried to frame a whole bunch of people for sexual allegations that wasn't even true. So that's why he gets D tier. Definitely one of the worst. That's why I put him on top because he is the worst. Now you got Oompaville. Oompaville, I watch him almost daily. So you know he you know where he's going to get. He's going to get S tier. Uh, he's going to get in front of Meat Cannon. Uh, maybe, yeah, he's going to get in front of uh, a Dead Meat. Yeah, he's gonna get in front of dead meat. He, he better. He's better. He's better because his jokes are funny. Uh, he's, he has variety content. Uh, it, it always switches it up. And it really, really hits the sweet spot of the soul. And his edits are amazing. You know, he don't do his edits personally. Definitely still one of the best YouTubers out there. Next, we got PewDiePie. I haven't watched PewDiePie in like a few months. But he's definitely an S tier YouTuber. One of the biggest YouTubers on the platform. The first YouTuber to actually hit 100 million subscribers. Uh, I would put him in front of Mr. Beast. That's just me personally. But but he has recently dialed down on the content because he has officially retired. Which is, you can take that as you go because he still uploads like his most retired YouTubers. But he's still very entertaining pretty funny he doesn't just do reaction videos now he does his uh, vlogs now which is pretty cool next we got rifting me personally he'll be an, he's an a tier because i don't watch him that much uh but he is pretty funny i'll give him that but he's not one of my favorite youtubers but he is a good youtuber definitely one of the best youtubers for uh trolling people Next, we got Vanoss Gaming, the first channel I have subscribed to. Uh, second best, he gets automatic S tier, automatic S tier. Definitely one of the best on the platform. Really created the platform what to what it is today, and I'm glad he joined the platform when he did because YouTube wouldn't be the same without him. Now we get to a two YouTubers who fake their own deaths and their content. It's just horrendous. Just nothing but clickbait. And when you, and when you do click on it, it's just like half-ass done videos. D tier. Worse than Ohm Wrecker. At least Ohm Wrecker puts some pizzazz in his videos. Unlike Extreme Games. That's why I put Extreme Games on D tier. Because on how bad they did the YouTuber community. They shouldn't be still on this platform, but they are sadly but maybe one day their channel will get uh, eventually terminated from the platform definitely shouldn't be on the platform at all but that's my list guys hope you like it uh, if you want to see more videos like this please drop a like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and remember we're all family on this channel peace out